Hi guys, welcome to this session in Base Database. In this module, I want to show you how you can create a relationship between two tables and then run a query pulling information from both tables. So first of all, a recap where we're at. If I double click on this, this is a list of customers. You can see them there, it's gone auto number, it's just adding them in as I add a new customer. Now I need to create a table about products, so I'm going to do that through the wizard. And one of the options in this list is products. So that's great. I'll select products. Now, I don't want all of these fields, I just want a couple for this demonstration. So, product ID, product name, and unit price. Let's say that. So, those are the three fields I want for this table. I'll follow it through, go next. Um, auto value put that to yes and we'll follow it through primary key use existing field I want product ID to be the primary key it's on auto value next and then I'll call it TBL products and then finish and that'll create my little table now when I look at that, that's not got auto number on there, so I'm just going to close it for a second and go into edit it. Edit and just make sure that is it's the primary key. It's not an auto value, so I'll put that onto yes and just save this change. And while I'm in here, I need to put customer ID, which is going to be the field that will join these two tables together I'll save that and close it and then if I add a couple of products if I just double click on that and add a, there's the auto number um, I've selected the wrong thing there so let's just come back into that edit plus my D needs to be an integer not that that one has to be the same data type otherwise it's not having it so now i can go and do some products i'll just do a couple of products we go for excel 250 customer id one now i'll have to create a lookup later on for this so you can see how i do i don't know who customer id one is customer id two and then access 250 also custom ID 2. Now that's some data there. Close that down for a minute. So now I need to create a relationship between these two. So I need to go to the tools menu and select relationships, and then I get the two tables which I can just double click on and then close this. So there's products. I need to open that up a little bit. You don't have to, I'm just going to move that over there. Do the same with this one, you can get the corners. So there's a customer ID which is a unique primary key. There's a product ID, unique primary key. So the link is going to be one customer and have many products. You get a one to many join there. Saving that, closing this window. So once I've created that link, if I go into query and I'll just use query design view. I can add the two tables again, so add, double click it, and then close. It picks up the same link that you've just created in the relationship window. So now you can pull information from either table or both tables. I'll just get that to go a bit wider. So what I want is, in this case, the customer title. First name, surname, that's all I want. And it comes down there, look. And then the product. And maybe the unit price. Let's have a look at that. Let's save it first. It's called QR Query 2. I'll just call it QRY Customer Products. And then OK to that. Close that down for a minute. So. 
I'll just go back to the table. On the table, in the customers table, um, that's a list of customers. In the products table, that's a list of products, but some customers have bought things. So when I run the query, hopefully it should show me that information. So you can see there, John Jones has bought two courses. You can see this price there. So that's the query because I've pulled information from two separate tables. This one I can get rid of, I don't need that query. So I'm just going to delete that one. Delete it. Now if you create a query like that and it doesn't show you the correct information, you just delete the query and start again. This is just the development part of the database. Lots of things will go wrong. You might find that you've missed off some information in these tables. You can go back into them if you go into edit and you can start adding extra fields if you wish and change the data type in these tables. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create a relationship and then run a query from it. So hopefully it's of use, sweating your appetite as to what this is. In the next section, I'll have a look at how you can create a form and input data into your tables through forms, one form, two tables. Catch you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.